10. You found a way to make it happen. And it was really hard. A lot of people, a hu- it's a huge barrier of entry to go get capital, but you found a way to make it happen. Yeah. So I, I think that I, I wanted to revert back on that because I think that was really impressive. And I think it's something that people can really learn from. You have to put the investor first. Like, how do I mitigate their risk? When you, I think a lot of problem with some people or, or uh, you know, some people always put themselves first. How am I going to make money? How am I going to be successful? Me, me, me. But if you take, if you reverse the lens, it's like, how do I make this investor money? How do I protect them? Because, you know, this is a litigious business that we work in. How am I going to protect this person? They're trusting me with whether it's $7,000 or a million dollars. I have to, I am a steward of that money. And so how am I going to protect them? And if you are transparent with your investors on like, this is how I'm going to protect you. This is me in the trenches with you, you know, knowing I'm not putting you on an island and you're taking on the liability. We're in this together, but this is how I'm going to protect your capital and protect our business. I think that's something that's important. You know, when you put other people first, all of a sudden, so many doors open up. I put the investor first, all of a sudden capital starts coming in. I put the 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 least to own homeowner first. And all of a sudden we have these amazing portfolio of people that that are aspiring to become homeowners. So how do I help this delinquent borrower? Because they have so much stress on their plate because they're X months behind on their mortgage. You know, put yourself in their position and all of a sudden like the answers start coming to you. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. It seems like uh, if I had money and you came to me, all the things you're saying would be all the bells that I'd be looking for. How am I going to be protected? What are you going to be putting in? Like, these are all like key words that I can understand every investor would be hearing and saying like, yeah, this guy's saying the right things and he's backing it up. 